Well, I've been looking at this Ron Paul, the uh, strict constitutionalist. And um, what's going to happen if he becomes president? OK, so you've got Ron Paul, he's a strict constitutionalist and libertarian. So he's going to want to get rid of as many uh, laws and regulations as possible. The uh, corporatist uh, um, congressmen, they're going to love this and they're going to push it all the way through any, um, any uh, uh, deregulation um, that they like. For example, like getting rid of um, the EPA, for example, and the Department of Education. And uh, all, all those um, banking regulations, they, they're gone. You know, all the, all the ones that, um, you know, the, even the moderate ones that America still has, they're gone. But, here's the thing, since Ron Paul um, is like this strict constitutionalist and he believes that government power should be limited, he's going to um, limit himself to whatever he perceives presidential power should be. Congress does not have the same qualms. They have passed laws allowing large multinationals to shut down whole websites and allowing the president to um, uh, hold Americans indefinitely without trial, you know, like forever. So they're not um, bound by qualms of constitutionality. Now, with, with a, a, a president hamstrung by his own ideals and a Congress not hamstrung by these ideals, who do you think will win? I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off.